Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is a set that I did a while ago on my practice hand. This is the NTS size 12 brush and the NTS FX4 hand I'm using. And I'm just coming in now with my clear as day. I'm just applying a clear base to all of the nails. So yes. Um, how is everybody? How's everybody been? Is everybody coping okay? Sorry I've been a bit MIA. I've just not had time to upload, edit, voiceover, anything. With the kids being off school so I just thought I'll do it this evening and get this uploaded for you. And then hopefully soon I'll have another for you. So yeah, this is the FX4 from NTS. Any um, links? The products and everything that I've used will be in the description box along with any discount codes that I've got so make sure you check that out what's everyone been up to is everybody back to like normal now or I know like countries are different aren't they but over here we're pretty much back to normal like there's still some some meals and eggs, but yeah, it's pretty much back to normal. Um, well, as normal as it can be, anyway. Anyway, back to the nails. I am coming in here with white feathers, and I'm just doing a thin wash of that over the entirety of this nail and the index finger nail. And because I'm going to add some glitter, which you just saw me do there. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing because the recording bar's in the way, so I do apologise if I'm a little bit behind. But yeah, then I'm going to apply a full nail of white feathers again. But it's going to be a bit more opaque this time. And that's the right word. Well, it's not see through anyway. <laughs> Probably not the right word, is it? Opaque? I don't know. Anyway. So I'm applying that and then I'm going to go over the top of that with, I think it's called Angel Dust, um, also from MTS and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous glitter, it goes with anything, literally anything. And I'm just going to apply that over the top of those and then I'll just let you swatch for a bit.
so now I'm coming in with some flowers, um, dried flowers that I got from, I think it was from Emerald Nail Supplies or Emerald Nail Art Supplies. I'll leave a link to her um, website in the description. I don't think I've got a discount code for her, but I'm pretty sure if you have a look, there'll be ambassadors and stuff that have codes if that's what you want. But yeah, I'm just applying some little bits of flowers, so I've cut them up in little bits and then there's some of them are like full flowers, some of them are cut up into little tiny bits because I wanted to do like a milk bath effect. So, and I think this is the flower that wouldn't stick down. <laughs> it took me ages. It's my own fault though, I should have just done it with glue in the first place but I wanted to try and just do it with the acrylic and get it to stick. I'm just awkward like that. So yeah, I'm gonna apply some dry flowers all over this nail and the index finger. And I don't know if you can see, but I've come with like a pink and purpley kind of thing with it. And then again, yeah, I'm just applying bits of dry flowers, a full dry flower. And I think dry flowers are so pretty and effective, but I just, I never know what to do with them. Like they are pretty, but I just never know what to do. So, I apologise if it's, um, if my voice is a bit croaky as well, it's quite late here, so I'm quite tired. I'm going to go and pop myself to bed after this, I think. I had some little green bits in as well, so it's, you know, the leaves and stuff. And then I'm just going to add a wash again of white feathers over the flowers. Not only does it hold them in place, but it also gives them that um, milk, bath, milk bath effect. I can't even speak. I'm sorry. Gives them the milk bath effect. So... Again, I'm just gonna let you watch a bit because otherwise I'll just waffle on about nothing because I'm tired. So enjoy. <laughs> And as you can see there, I'm just finishing up applying that angel dust glitter. It's so pretty. I don't think the camera does it justice on here, but it is absolutely stunning. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just gonna finish pouring that on the two middle nails and then I'm gonna go in and encapsulate everything. Tap it in clear. And I've got to say, clear as day is the clearest acrylic I have ever used. I love it. And I love these FX4 hands as well, they just look so realistic. And I think they're still on sale at the minute as well, I think. Go and grab yourself a bargain, plus my discount code will be in the uh, description box so you can get even more money off. What more could you ask for? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to encapsulate everything so I'll just let you watch it again because otherwise, like I say, I'm just going to waffle on and yeah, I'll just let you watch it. <laughs> Okay, so now you can see I'm going to be coming in with some base coat, gel base coat, and I'm not going to cure that because I'm going to be applying some water decals, and these decals are from a place called Decal Dealers, and she's not fully launched yet, she's quite new, so, but the decals are absolutely amazing, I can't fault them, honestly. So, yeah, I'm, I'm applying this base coat and I'm not going to cure it. This is how I like to apply my decals because I feel like if it's in the wrong position, which as you'll see, I did position mine wrong at first. Um, you can move it around as much as you want and it's not going to set in place like it would if you were to just apply it straight to the nail. So that's why I used the gel base. So I'm just cutting that decal in half because I want half on one nail, half on the other. And then popping them in some water for about 10 seconds, if that. And then get them out, pop the other one in, dry that one off on the paper towel, slide it off the back in, and then pop it on the nail. So, as you can see, it's lush. Well, I am, um, how do I say it? Uh, obviously I didn't position it right because I positioned it in the middle of that nail whereas I should have probably started with the other nail because it's higher up, does that make sense? So when I put them on I wanted them to meet in the middle but obviously one nail is higher than the other because one finger is shorter than the other, how it should be. So yeah, if you're going to do that, don't do what I did and fluff it up and have to take it off, put it back on, <laughs> all the rest of it. Luckily, like I said, I applied that base coat, so 
I could do that just in case because like I said it's my first time using these decals as well this was and oh and it wasn't last I used a full cover one um a few weeks or months ago pride month I did the checkered rainbow set you'll see it a bit further down on my channel but yeah um what was I saying it's the first time I've used any like this where I've needed to position them a certain way for it to look right in my eyes anyway so I'm just using some little tweezers and I'm just moving it where I need to and then what I do is I use the tweezers to like flatten it out to the nail so there's no creases or anything like that and yeah I thought they looked great at the end so there we go, you can see there what I've done. I've like, tried to match it up as best as what I can. Like I say, next time I'll probably apply on the ring finger first and then match it up because it'll probably be easier. But yeah, now I've cured that, I've cured them in place. I'm now going in with some top coat and applying that. If I was doing this on a client and not a practice hand, then I would apply base coat again and then top coat just so that it seals them decals in 100% they're not going anywhere so there we have it and now I am just applying some AB crystals which I mean you can get AB crystals anywhere I'm pretty sure these ones were from Emerald Nail Supplies as well but you can get just as good quality at NTS as well so make sure you go check them out so yeah, I started off with, I think it's SS16 and went my way down. I don't really know all the sizes and stuff, I'm not all that technical. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's all I've really got to say on this. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you've got to do. And don't forget to check the description box for any links and discount codes. And I hope to see you in the next one. That's Johnny guys. Bye.